how to animate an object on its own local axis in Blender. So in my case here, I have this planet that I would like to spin on the local axis. So if you press N to access the transform, we're just going to have an option here to spin on the local axis. So we can try, for example, R, Z, and add another Z. So press Z double times. So this way, we're going to be spinning on the Z axis. And as you can see here, we have to add or to change multiple values to X and Y and Z. So it's going to be really challenging. So the way to do it is by adding a supporting a spin support. So let me just add it here. So you can press Shift S, cursor to the world origin. Shift A, we can go to empty. I'd like to start by a plane axis. So you can use any object, even a cube. It's going to work. But this object here, it's going to be hidden. So that's why I chose it. So I'm going to just take it up a little bit here. And we can animate it spinning. So here on the frame zero, you can just jump here to zero. I'd like to animate the Z axis. So you can do right click, insert single keyframe, and we can jump all the way to frame 100. Let me just type it here, 100. And we can give it 180 degree. So you're gonna be spinning 180 degree. Insert single keyframe. So if we press shift and right click to start from the beginning, you're gonna be having this object spin by 180 degree from zero all the way to 100. Also here for the end, I'm gonna just set set the end to 100 frames so now in order to spin our planet on its local axis so let's select it first so next i want you to go to the constraint properties here constraint and we can add a copy rotation so basically we're going to be copying the rotation of this object here and paste it here so inside the constraint the first settings is the target i'm going to just use this eyedropper and i'm going to pick this empty object that we created so now it's copying the rotation. So we can keep pressing, let me just press space so that we can see that moving. So it's gonna be copying the same rotation here. So instead of what I want, so for the target, we're gonna just keep it at the word space, but for the owner, it's gonna be the local space. So let me just switch it to the local. And by doing that, we're gonna be having the planet spin on the local axis. So by the way, if you are completely new to Blender, I definitely recommend checking out our free getting started with Blender tutorial series for absolute beginners. The link's gonna be down below.